So that's how chapter one ends. All right. Respective desires. Let's see. Let's see what this goes. Spiritual report. Witnesses to these brutal attacks. Hold on. She got some big ones. Today's eyewitness info comes from the residential home near Mejiro Station. Can you hear me at the studio, Mr. Manaya? On this map, we've marked the locations of each of the current bizarre deaths that have occurred throughout this area. As you can see, the sudden death of a female middle schooler just the other day occurred not far from here, in the Mejiro area. That is fairly near your location. Yes. The police are investigating all possibilities on both the suicide and homicide spectrum. However, literally snapping a person's spine in two is a seemingly impossible prospect. And the mystery is compounded by the fact that outside of their broken backs, these victims suffer no other wound. Are you saying their spines may have somehow snapped on their own, as opposed to being broken by someone else? Oh, we saw that the girl that was doing the Sachiko Ever After charm, when she got home, she got her, she got literally snapped in half. That's right. It's been theorized that this may be some form of strange new disease that affects a person's bone structure. Ugh, this dude is ugly. All of this happening in a humble era like Mejiro, which remains quiet and friendly despite its placement along the Yamano Yamanode train route toward Ikebukuro and the Toshima Ward. We give our regards to those affected by this tragedy, and we hope for a swift end to this macabre incident. Evie's on, huh? Guess she's home. Who's Aiko? I was about to head into her room and scold her for wasting electricity like that, but was sidetracked when I heard the fax machine accept the call and begin printing. Who's Aiko? Once the contents had been fully transmitted, I grabbed the print off from the machine and took a look at it. Product order sheet, as expected. PL Promotions Co. Inc. No room to write perfect life anymore, I guess. But when did she add the CO to it? This company of hers is quite the enterprise, it would seem. Who's Aiko? Oh, her! I sat down in the chair at my desk and produced a pouch containing the Ever After Stone. Or rather, the pouch that was supposed to have contained the Ever After Stone. Once I slipped it open and turned it upside down, however, a plain, ordinary marble rolled out instead. My. Well played, Kishinuma. Not that it matters. I took the red box out of my bag and shuffled through the shattered pieces of rock inside, ultimately finding what I sought, a clump of white crumpled paper. Carefully unfolding it, I produced another two Ever After Stones, virtually identical to the ones now in Ayumi and Yoshiki's possession. So she had a, she had a backup, all right. Hey bro, that's smart though. I found another pair, you see. I slotted the stones together in their proper positions and sat back down and stared intently at them as they glowed menacingly from my desk. I was planning to go to Heavenly Host with or without you after all. I guess we're even now. My phone buzzed, alerting me that I just received an email. The sender displayed simply read, Whereabouts known. Body of message. Book of Shadows is in the Nirvana. Obtain it and you'll be handsomely rewarded. Spirit item auctions powered by Futhark. Spirit item auctions, huh? Wish I knew where this info was coming from. Either way, the Book of Shadows location has now been confirmed. And the timing couldn't be better. It'll be a race, since I was just about to head to Nirvana myself anyway. The air around me was growing heavier as the stones pumped the room full of unholy energy, just waiting for the magic words to whisk me away. I grinned and separated them. Let's see if I can get the Book of Shadows before poor little Ayumi does. I never truly intended to work with those two. I really just wanted to get closer to them. For this task, the Obsessor and I will be more than sufficient. We just need to act before that meddlesome girl finds out I have these. Meddlesome? Who is that? I clasped my hands together, planted my elbows on the desk, shut my eyes and rested my chin on my thumb as I attempted to sort out my next move. A wry grin slowly crept across my face. 
This isn't like me at all, is it? Consuming myself with one single objective for this long? Sorry, Ayumi. But you can't bring people back from the dead with black magic. It's just not that simple. I rocked back and forth in my chair and let out a long sigh. It had been quite a day. Article of the deceased, though, are another matter entirely. I must simply bring back a spirit item imbued with the soul of its owner. A vessel through which he or she can speak? What was that? I smiled again as I stretched my arms. Maybe I could pack my good friend Naho into a spirit item and make her part of my collection. This hobby of mine has turned me into a monster, but I just can't wait. You ain't gonna disrespect Naho like that. I'll, I'll catch you lacking. I, I get you. Hey, bro, I get you stretched. Keep playing with me. Don't play with Naho. I spin for Naho. I could tour to my body to get a better view of a picture frame my position on the corner of my desk. It was just about the cheapest photo frame money could buy. Totally not in keeping with anything else in my room. It housed the very first photo sticker I'd ever taken with Naho and Sayaka. Oh, that's sweet. The two of them were smiling and hugging each other, while I was awkwardly standing behind them, looking a little sheepish. It was the first and only time we'd ever got our photo taken together. I guess the planets must have aligned just right for us that day. <laughs> Took the frame in both hands and studied it intently. Then after I don't know how long, I noticed that the figures in it were getting kind of blurry. I wanted nothing more than to hear their voices again. I rubbed my eyes and realized that my biggest wish was just to talk to them, just one more time. Oh, that's sad. Naho. I don't know what came over me, but I just started hugging the frame. No more words, no more movement. I just sat there with my friends. Oh, so she acts cold to cope with the loss. Man, that's sad. I grieve different. Welcome back, I. With a start, I separated myself from the photo and clumsily placed the frame back to my desk. What do you want? Don't just let yourself in my room. Oh, snap! It's, it's the teacher, Kuon. It's been a while, I. I had some time on my hands, so I decided to stop in. Have you been doing well? Or not so well, perhaps? Don't you worry, I've been doing just fine. But you! You need to stop leaving the TV on. It'll attract spirits. Oh, my. I'm so very sorry. I just get so lonely when I'm here by myself. So I turn it on for noise. I feel that. I do the same thing. I stood up and tried to push past her into the hallway. Will you just let me go through? I'm thirsty. Here. With a slightly embarrassed smile, Kuan revealed a glass of barley tea that she'd been hiding behind her back. What a sweetheart. You always did have a knack for knowing what people want, right when they want it. It's a little off-putting. Uh, do I? I just figured you'd probably be thirsty, that's all. What a sweetheart. With a smirk, I took the glass from her and chugged the tea. Slow down. He ain't going nowhere. It ain't gonna grow legs and run off. As I drank, I felt myself eyeing the white wisp. Wa the, the white... The as I drank, as I as I as I drank, I found myself eyeing the white, the white wrist watch. All right, white wrist watch. As I drank, I found myself eyeing the white wrist watch on her arm. The softly glowing blue numerals on this display were surprisingly fetching. It clearly was not cheap. She got racks. <laughs> uh, uh. I don't know how you do it, working as a big wig CEO and moonlighting as a high school teacher. It's pretty impressive stuff. <laughs> no, no, it's nothing. I just like making people happy, that's all. Always the same with her. She has no idea the kind of burden her effortless genius places on the other people around her. And on top of all that, my older sister here was also astoundingly sensitive to spiritual energy as well. She certainly didn't leave a lot left for me to specialize in. 
Becoming CEO has actually made my day job a lot easier, giving me the opportunity to achieve that old dream of becoming a teacher. I consider myself rather blessed. Huan claps her hands together in front of her, almost as if in prayer. She wasn't acting, she was truly happy. Well, that's good. Thank you for the tea. I'll be heading out now. A little too happy. I didn't need to feed the beast. I didn't need to feed the beast with a dismissive with a dismissive gesture. I handed her my glass and began packing my bag. I couldn't stick around any longer. I I, what are those stones? I'm sensing a very significant power from them. Do you care? Leave me alone! My sister was better than me in practically everything. I wasn't about to let her horn in on this now, too. I tried to maintain a cold, tough exterior as I finished gathering my things and Inside, I honestly felt kind of bad, but I couldn't let up. You need to stop worrying about me. I'll see you again, okay? In like, half a year probably. Good luck with your work. Uh, okay, thanks. See ya. Hey, I... I think I might be in love with someone. Huh? I certainly wasn't expecting that. I spun on my heels and looked Kuan straight in the eyes. Her cheeks were rosy red. I'd never seen her this way before. So. Really? That's good to hear. But I wasn't going to let her pull me in. I continued to be as cold as I could muster with her, speaking in short, broken sentences. Finally, without another word, I managed to escape. Surely she's not in love with that high school boy named Satoshi Machida, right? Like, I understand if he was Yoshiki, but Mach so Satoshi? Come on now. Come on. Come on. Kuan and I lived on the 40th floor of a rather high-class apartment building. And Kuan was always so bigger with her, busy with her PL, <sighs> PL promotions, so she spent most nights at company housing instead. That made this apartment more or less a single for me. It was all mine. And now Kuan was working a second job as a teacher, too. It's like there was no talent she didn't possess. I called it impressive before, but honestly, it's kind of creepy. Who is that puppy? Inu! Bro! <laughs> so who is that puppy? And his name is Inu. His the first part of his name is Inu. That's, that's, pup that's dog in, like, Japanese, isn't it, Inu? Like, bro, that's crazy. Niwa! Haruyuki, did I keep you waiting? Yeah. No, uh. You're going though, right, Niwa? I'm, I'm ready. Let's do this. He is not ready. Sayaka, please be alive. I'm coming for you. I've got water and food. Naho's friend, Sayaka Ue. She's definitely cute, so much so that she actually did some modeling. She was always right at Naho's side, supporting her in everything she did, including her spiritual investigations. Sayaka is bad, bro. And right at Sayaka's side, always, constantly confessing his undying love and devotion was her classmate Haruyuki here. He's got good spiritual sensitivity, but, well, he's a bit overly optimistic. Notoriously so. Sayaka never took his advances very seriously. Not that it ever stopped him. Wait for me! Sayaka! I hate seeing a light like that die out. It's painful to watch. Haruyuki, I haven't confirmed this for certain, but based on my intel, Naho is already dead. Which means Sayaka might also, you know, you should probably be pre prepared for that possibility. She's not dead! Sainoki was with her. So if Sainoki died, I'm certain she died shielding Sayaka from harm. Bro does not know. He was not... Bro, he was not playing Book of Shadows. He was not playing Book of Shadows, bro. He did not play Chapter 3 of Book of Shadows, bro. I mean, Chapter 4 of Book of Shadows. And if she did, then we have to doubly, we have to be doubly sure to save her. 
so that Sinoki wouldn't have died in vain. I get the desire to believe that, but if Naho Sinoki of all people died in there, what possible chance do you think a normal human could have? Is it that freaking yellow haired girl with the pigtails? Yeah, her. What is that fig? Oh, I, I forgot. I did not read her. What is that fit? It's low key kind of tough, but very inappropriate. Magari Mizuki! Hold on. Uh, how did she find out? Damn, she's fast. I, I know you. You transferred in recently. I'll give you one thing, Aiko Niwa. You did well finding a viable means of getting into Nirvana. I've warned you countless times not to try getting the better of me, however. So what's it to be? How about you hand those stones over to me like a good little girl? What? I don't think so. I have plans of my own for them. Well, I can't use Ayumi Shinazaki's anymore. Since that crap face and hoodie punk got the jump on them. So the ones you've got are my only option now, aren't they? And I'm through with failure. Hand them over or I kill you. Simple, no? Got the jump on them. So Ayumi is already in Heavenly Hosting. Mizuki, you're... Shut up or I'll fucking kill you. You fucking peasants just let yourselves be slaves to fate like everyone else. It's a hell of a lot easier. Well, my lord. What are you saying? Isn't it customary to address upper classmen with a modicum of respect? May I remind you I'm a year ahead of you. Frankly, I never much cared for you to begin with. Shut up, nigga! <laughs> You're just making it easier to justify slicing you in the ribbons. Keep on fanning the flames, upperclassman Aiko. It's your funeral. And it's our goodbye. Hold on to me, Haruyuki. Oh! Is this... You owe me! I gave you that info on Yoshi Shinazaki! Or is my money all you care about, you filthy gold digger? Don't you know? The Book of Shadows is over there. Once I get my hands on it, I'll be happy to sell it to you for the right price. She has a scythe? What the heck? Where did she procure that from? Nirvana, I summoned the dead. Where did she just whip that out from? Huh? Success? Unbeknownst to me, at least for another few moments, Magari had managed to snatch the two Ever After Stones from my hands at the last possible moment. They were now in her possession. They're mine! I can't believe it! Now I can jump to Nirvana anytime I'd like! I think I've earned myself some free time. Hard to believe Ayumi Shinazaki beat me to the punch, though. Who else survived in Nirvana again? Uh... All right, that little fungus made it back too, didn't she? Perfect. I know just the person I can send to look in on her. Hey, bro, don't drag, bro. Leave Naomi out of this. The only other female that made it out was Naomi. Leave her out of this. Leave Naomi alone. Oh, good lord. Is this heavenly host? Oh, what is this? Where are the stones? My palm had been perfectly cut straight 
perfectly straight cut all the, all the way across, practically bisecting my hand. It was bleeding quite a bit and hurt like hell. But that's Harayuki. I quickly searched my pockets, but there were no trace of the Ever After Stones. They were gone. Niwa-san. Niwa, uh-uh, he look evil. I don't like that pose. I don't like that pose. He look evil. I saw what happened. Just before we jumped, Mizuki managed to swipe the stones with her scythe. What? Now you can't escape. Without those stones, we can't go back. We'll be trapped here forever. You better hope Ayumi will let you go back with her. If she survives. We will? But no. We'll be fine. A girl named Ayumi should have the other pair. We should need to meet up with her before she leaves here. And we can tag along. Okay. But Niwa, before that... We should look for her. She's in here, right? Sayaka? Yes. Typical Hakaru. Tiruko Harayuki. Thy love for thine own self. Thy love before thine own self. It's awfully dark in here. Should I light one of my candles? No need for that, Niwa. Fire's dangerous, so here. Harayuki pulled a monstrously huge flashlight from his backpack and shone it up in his chin, campfire tail style. Started making faces, hoping, obviously hoping I'd be amused. I wasn't. Yeah, I think that'll work. He does not know the danger we're in right now. He does not. Look at that face. That's the that's the face you make when you don't know that you're in danger. Whenever I get that the Sayaka, no matter how down in the dump she was, she'd always crack a smile. I'd get kicked black and blue afterward, but it was totally worth it. That's why I brought it. Never considered that a spiritual plane like this might be pitch black, though. Guess I thought I had it without even knowing it. If I were Sayaka, I'd be thrilled to have a childhood friend who wasn't, who was so utterly devoted to me. I wonder what it was she doesn't like about him. Saika was probably just gay. Let's be real. She had a crush on Naho. Oh, nothing. Come on, let's go. I came here to find some physical remnant of Naho and to track down the grimoire known as the Book of Shadows. Harayuki came here to find Saika, and in order to get back to our own world, we have no choice but to locate Ayumi Shinazaki as well. Guess we have our work cut out for us. Traveling in a party of two or more, switch character button to swap out your lead character. Whoever takes the lead will be more susceptible to incurring damage from traps or hazards. Be sure to keep track of your party party members HP and switch leaders as necessary. All right, time to save. Notice all faculty, four students kidnapped and murdered. Yeah, it's the same thing we already know. Tiny shoes, this really was an elementary school. Who do you think you are, Seiko? That's glass. That was pretty shocking, though. Who is that Mizuki girl anyway? What do you know about her, Niwa? Can you keep a secret, Haruyuki? Magari Mizuki is a member of Martuba's tomb, a secret society based on an ancient order of black mages. Secret society? In Japan? Like the Freemasons are the Illuminati, except much more brazen. Unlike other more renowned and respected secret societies, the Martubas are ready and willing to break the law. Supposedly, their entire theos theosophy is defined by the structure and around the content of the ancient Grimoires. Wow, it's hard to believe there could be a person like that intermingling with us at school. Girls to show you, you just never know. There are all sorts of people out there. The Martubas are just the beginning. You probably have no idea who your neighbors really are, right? And they have no idea who you are. Saika knows everything about me. 
Alright, bro, get her meat out your mouth. You're a special case. You showed the world over 200% of who you are. Anyway, just be careful around Magara and Mizuki. She won't treat you like a regular classmate anymore. Again. What is that? No, don't think I didn't see that. Oh, hey, this is the bathroom. What is that? Yeah, it looks like it. I hate to ask Neil, but do you mind if I stopped in for a second? I've been holding it for a while. You have? All right, then go ahead. I'll wait here. Thanks. Be right out. All right, we're about to leave him. Can't believe Sonic is trapped in a creepy old place like this. Gah! What's wrong? Niwa, is this? Is it real? It looks like it. Oh, and this. I'm feeling a lot of spiritual energy coming from that ring. You sure it's safe? Yes, yes, no need to worry. The ring itself is nothing special. It's a cheap, mass-produced piece of jewelry. But this particular ring bears endless grudges of the one who owned them, making it a truly spectacular spirit item. One of the best I've ever encountered. Are you gonna take it? Of course, a sinister spirit item like this is a rare find. I'm certain we'll find many others in here who died in utter despair. When there's despair, there's bound to be more artifacts of this caliber. If you come across any other bodies, you be sure to let me know, okay? Okay, but don't forget, that's not why we're here. We have to save Saika and Sinoki, okay? The name tag rests besides the corpse. Ukyo Abe, bled out after the throat was stabbed. Sorry to keep you waiting. All done, let's get going then. Ooh, that's cool. Bandages, all right. All right, nothing. There you go. I don't want to play as him. All right, we need to see what this is over here, bro. What the freak? Ayumi-chan? Ayumi? Ayumi Shinazaki? Sayaka! 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 Sayaka, come out! Why are you crying already? I'm not sensing anyone right now. Not even a single soul, surprisingly. Maybe because the only way to get here anymore is by way of those stones. So there hasn't been an influx of victims coming through here like before. Which is a good thing, but it means we won't have anyone around to come to our aid if we need it. Where are you, Sayaka? Are you all alone, scared and shivering in the dark? Sayaka, Sayaka, please! Bro, hop off. What's that? What's wrong? The walls, look, what is it? Could it be the Nirvana breaking down? Whatever it is, it's really disturbing. Why is this the only place affected? Is this where I think? Oh, okay, my, my fault. Is this where I think it is? Angry spirits emanating from the room. Let's yeah, let's not go in there. No, this isn't what I was, this isn't where I was thinking. Small magic circles and pagan symbols were drawn in red paint. The circular portions of this graffiti were all roughly palm sized. I wouldn't touch those, Haruyuki. We're better off not messing with things we don't understand. Oh. Alright. The circle drawn on the far wall was much larger and more menacing, and mixed in with them was a child-sized handprint. 
This building is a lot more nightmarish inside than I imagined it to be. I wonder where the Book of Shadows is. Can these temples be related to it in some way? Stop that! Yeah, this isn't where I thought it Oh, wait, it might be, it might be. Gap is too wide. All right, we need to find, um, hopefully nothing chases us. We got to see y'all think y'all slick, bro. Y'all not about to get me. Oh, y'all got me one time with Ayumi. It's not happening again. What's this? Admit it. You hate all your friends. Eventually you'll kill one another. Oh yeah. I remember this one. Is this where Seiko went right before she? No, no, that's not it. Oh, such resplendent malice, so resentful, so envious. Whoever wrote this clearly must have lost all measures of sanity. This flyer is a lovely spirit item all in its own. I must have it. Niwa. Wretched, pitiable. It's wonderful. I don't. It would seem the spirit of possession of this particular item didn't care much for my joy at its suffering. A black shadowy figure emerged from the paper and poised itself to attack us. Oh no, you don't! Sit down, boy! This was no problem at all. I quickly slid a talisman out of my plastic card case and slapped it right on the forehead of the lunging black spirit. Yeah, sit down, bro. A sound not unlike that of ricocheting steel echoed through the hallway as a dark presence found itself forcibly banished back into the cursed flyer. Whoa. We're not the hunted in here. We're the hunters. <laughs> Still brandishing the card case, I struck an anime-style pose and grinned triumphantly. You know, Sainoki used to do that exact same victory pose. Oh, <coughs> how embarrassing. We, uh, we have to hurry and find something of Naho's in here. Spirit item. You're not planning to harm Naho like that too, are you? Well, that all depends on her now, doesn't it? To be fair, in actuality, I was furious over the loss of Naho. I just wasn't letting it show, I can tell. I wanted to obliterate all the low-level spirits that filled this place with their malice. I wanted revenge. This was personal. And it took everything I had to quell those instincts. Then heavenly hosts, malicious entities may chase you down and attack you. If they touch you, your HP will lower and your darkening will increase. You're in possession of a talisman, however. The entity will be banished. But do know that each spirit subdued will cost you one talisman. Keep a close eye on your stock. How many ta talismans do I have? I'ma be real, bro. As long as I have enough talismans, I'ma be banishing these spirits. She said it herself. They're ops. We gotta get rid of the ops. After what they after after what this place did to Naho, bro, I almost fell for it. I don't like this. If something bad happens, we can take the brunt of it. Name tag rest beside the corpse. Ogasato Shimase, strangulation by a friend gone mad. How do we know that though? Okay, so far, only thing I'm not liking about this game are the deaths. I'm not liking the- I'm not liking the whole little- I'm not liking the way that they predict- Not predict, but I'm not liking the way that they tell how the- how a carrot how a person- how a corpse died. It doesn't make sense. How would you know they were strangled by a friend that went crazy? In the first game, it made sense. They would say, like, Considering the state of the neck, we can tell that she was probably beat to death with a metal pipe and it was against her trachea, you know? But, the, you know, they wouldn't say anything that they couldn't be able to tell through an autopsy. 
it was weird enough that they were able to tell that but it makes sense you know like if you looked at the throw you could tell it was smashed in so they were probably smashed in by something hard that's what they would do in the first game of book of shadows but in this game they're saying stuff that you wouldn't be able to know by just looking at the corpse and examining it and it doesn't make sense and i'm not gonna lie that's kind of i don't really like that too much but i'm not i'm not gonna be all nitpicky about it you know so we were on the first floor what the niwa look out huh oh snap i did not see that it's a wire If you walked into that piano wire strung this if you walked into piano wire strung this taut tight it could easily slice you in two. Is this a booby trap laid by one of the victims who came to this school perhaps? Hey, Mr. Spirit! No, it couldn't be. I'm sensing a deep spiritual energy emanating from within it. So it was said by that ghost then. I believe so, or maybe the space itself created it. Whatever the case, we should consider ourselves under attack in here and proceed with caution. I completely agree. Thank you, Haruyuki. Touching a wild word trip is significantly lowering your lead character's HP. You can break the wire without tripping it by standing in front. There we go. Mr. Spirit, sir, you need to hurry up and die like the others. You're not very nice, are you? I come to shock. If I step on this, nothing. Okay. <laughs> oh, what? What was that? Wait, what was that though? It's a dead end. We should go back. Hold on a sec, Niwa. Hey, couldn't we use that plank for something? I'm let I'm letting this guy take care of all the somehow another hard you was able to free the loose plank of wood from beneath the mountain of desks. I'm letting this fella right here take care of all the um all the moving around all, all the all the dangerous areas if i think something might be dangerous i'm gonna let him i'm gonna let him walk through it uh Uren, Akimiya, decapitation my goodness is terrible in here all right let's hurry down all right you can have control back we're back in a, a area i know how to navigate Uh, we're gonna come back and save. Ooh, man, this game is something. I don't care. I'm gonna save right there. Hold on, I don't care. I'm gonna save right there. Hold on. Y'all know I don't really like to. I don't. Well, y'all don't know, but I don't really want to waste too much of my sprint. I don't want to be sprinting too much. You walk over that. That's a wire. Oh my, I did not see that. I did not see that. Oh my goodness. I'm so glad I, I, I wanted, I'm so glad I checked this, bro. I did not see it until like, until the text popped up. Yo, I got so lucky right there. Name tag, Leona Omura succumbed to shock and bled out after legs were amputated. That's hot. All right, check this out. Oh my goodness, that scared me so bad. Guys, we might have to pay extra attention. We might have to pay extra attention, guys. Name tag, 
Consume unknown substance to stave off hunger. Poison cell. All right, gotta love some bandages, you know. Let's see what's here first. Heck no. Heck no. Why is this here? You can run what you can't hide. I'll chase you until you've died. You're not a very nice person. Oh, this is where N Ayumi was. Piano no auto? Is that a piano? Oh, we must be near the music room. So this is the second building? Coming from downstairs. Let's try to find it. Tentacles? Yucky. You really think that's the best thing to do right now? Personally, I don't. Is it here? Oh, I remember this thing, that's, that's the girl playing a piano in the first game. Remember, she doesn't really do anything, you know? You just kind of... Like, if you get too close to her, she just gets a little mad and stops playing. She waits for you to leave. She must be a little shy. Sayaka? Sayaka, you in here? It's me, Inumaru. That's so weird. I wonder who was playing. Somebody there? Saika? Hey, Haruyuki. Look at Beethoven. Oh, they're staring at us. Whoa, that's creepy. It's a corpsey warpsy. Sumito Ogiwara. Use skill and exorcism to fight spirits in an effort to stop friends darkening with fell in battle. Hey, bro, that's big ups, big dubs. He fought, he, he died like a soldier. Why would you stand on that? Haruyuki, look out. Why would you stand on that? There's often tentacles hidden under fleshy mounds like this. If you're caught by them, your darkening will rise and you'll eventually die. So they latch on to you, repeatedly press confirm button quickly to shake them off. Hey, get off of me. That was a close one. Guess we gotta be mindful of the living floors now too. Why would you step on that to begin with? <laughs> you hear them talking too, right? Ah, uh, we're out. <laughs> We're out. Hey, don't worry about us, big bro. A mimic? <laughs> that was close. <laughs> Thanks, Niwa. <laughs> Niwa, behind you. What the hell is up with this room? Not just this room, but the entire building. This entire space is full of pure malice. Sayaka doesn't appear to be in here. We should go. Saika, you're okay. Thank God, thank God. What are you saying, Haruyuki? That's not Saika, it's another corpse. Oh no, he's got the darkening. Whoa, Haruyuki. 
I'm not sensing any outside presence, which means this is not good. Harayuki's state is collapsing. This continues going to succumb to the darkening. Adachi? That's the spirit of the man who died here. Hey, big bro. Hey, big bro. Help me. Hey, big bro. At this rate, his mind will cloud. His body will turn black as coal and he will die. So you know about the darkening. My friend died from it. Examine my body. If he prays to that statue, he'll be spared from his fate. It was too late for my friend, but it's not too late here. Thank you. Thank you, big bro. These cheapy sprites are adorable. Statue hunt, this must be it. How are you? Can hold on to this. Oh! Huh, Niwa? Thank goodness you're back to normal. In this space, even seemingly ordinary objects could be suffused with malice. Take heed. That's good advice. If we keep examining corpses and interacting with spirits here, it's gonna have a serious effect on our mental states. At this point, I think it'd be best to avoid interacting with anything multiple times unless we have a very good reason to do so. I'm not sure I entirely follow, but okay. All right, so this is like a tutorial source. Yeah, we're getting out of here. This place is a lot more dangerous than they, uh, uh, than it, than it was before. Holy crap! I mean, the danger in the the danger before was just like, was really just ghosts and stuff like, and, and, and like you know the actual monsters. So no, I take it back. So far, this is actually a lot safer than it was before. All I gotta do is just evade traps and run away from monsters and stuff before oh my goodness what hurt you what even hurt you huh what's wrong niwa I thought I heard someone call my name. It may have just been my imagination, though. Chasing after a prophet in a place like this. You really are a lost cause, Aiko. Oh, snap! I saw it last second. Break it! I see it, break it! Oh my goodness, I really gotta pay attention. I th I've had a feeling it was Naho. Naho, are you there? Aiko, give me your intel. Niwa, Niwa, what's wrong? Can't you hear that? Hear what? Aiko, 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 Aiko. Wooden dog here that seems completely suffused with holy power. 
that's all it was. I just had the darkening. I didn't really want you to crawl under. Oh, this is where, this is where Naho died though. Not a soul to be found. The room was empty despite the voice I heard, a voice I knew exceptionally well. It was lunchtime at Polonia Academy High School. Lemon bread in hand, I sought out Naho, who had either already finished her lunch or was simply planning or simply wasn't planning to eat, and said using her time to catch up on some reading. Hey Naho, how did the info I showed you on Heavenly Host turn out? Naho put down her book and looked up at me. She was smiling from ear to ear. Couldn't have gone better. I tracked down Yoshe's estate and sure enough, a phantom house appeared on the property. The whole investigation was a smashing success. I even got my hands on the means of visiting the ever after. It's astounding. Mr. Kibiki was very pleased. Well then, that's wonderful to hear. Thank you, Aiko. The future is looking really bright now. This is quite a rarity. You thanking me? <laughs> Fear is prey on human emotions, particularly in the places where they're weak. Particularly in the places that we're weakest. It's trying to make me remember things I don't want to. Sorry. But I'm not going to play along with your parlor tricks of low-grade entities like yourself. Humans are made of much sterner stuff than that. You ought to be ashamed. I put on a good show, but I couldn't change the expression on my face into anything but a frown. Anyone looking closely would have been able to see through it with almost no effort. I was going to attack. No, oh, I bet. Oh, of course she has to go. All right. How did you get Pat? What's this? Is that Taguchi's camera? Let me see it. I knew it. Mr. Taguchi, the cameraman from Naho's place. This is his. We should watch it. He might have caught something important. There's only one file saved. All right, you can start a playback on the footage from the camera. It began immediately with a door creaking open, leading into a small room with a distinctly Japanese flair in this decor. Is this the janitor's room? Gucci jumped back and fell with a painful sounding thump. What, what the hell is that? The camera was now slowly cautiously being moved closer and closer to the sliding door in the back half of the room. Oh, we're about to find Naho's corpse. Did, did it come from in here? Is someone there? The cameraman caused a little bit of Taguchi bracing himself as he hesitantly slit the door open. He stuck the camera inside as he himself began to survey the contents of the closet, quickly discovering. Oh, no! no! <laughs> Professor! <laughs> Two bodies stacked on top of one another. One was Professor Kibiki and the other was Naho. They were full-on skeleton at that point, identifiable only by their clothes. <laughs> That's where the footage stopped. Perhaps the camera had run out of batteries, so it works just fine for us now. <laughs> Why 
That was horrible. I could feel the chill of Sainoki's soul. Cold as ice. She really is gone. How can this be, though? How could something like that happen? Doesn't it seem... Doesn't it, doesn't it seem like that long ago when we were all together, smiling and laughing like nobody's business? Haruyuki, what should we do now? Or what must we do now? Standing here and grieving isn't going to solve anything, is it? No. We have to believe. That's right. We have to believe in Sayaka and her will to live. I don't know what to believe right now, but Haruyuki needs this. Me, I just feel dizzy and my heart is throbbing. What's happening to me? Bro, it's that darkening little fella. We're gonna have to cure ourselves again. Oh, dang, that's the dude that the other guy couldn't save. Whoa! A spirit! Thought I heard moans coming from the floor. It would seem there's an entity hiding in the mass of flesh. Forget the analysis, Niwa. It's time to run. Okay. All right. Had to break their ankles right quick. What? What kind of phone number is that? It's an EMF spike. Someone's trying to communicate. No more way. Stay away. Yuki Maru, stay away! No, Inu Maru. Huh? Inuma, stay away, Inumaru. Inumaru, stay away. Are you sure? How are you not? Saika, Saika! Saika, what are you trying to say? Where are you? I'm coming to help. Hang in there. Haruyuki, Haruyuki wait. <laughs> okay. Was bro just waiting for us to? Sayaka. 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 Sayaka, are you in there, Sayaka? I'm on my way. Haruyuki, stop. Haruyuki, stop. What's your problem? This is probably a trap. That's ridiculous. You saw the other traps yourself, right? This school wants us dead. You're, it's literally a bunch of traps. It's literally a bunch of traps. All right, bro. Alright, bro, screw off. Oh my goodness, you're aggravating. You are extremely aggravating. Holy crap. See, I knew this was gonna happen. I didn't have any way to avoid it, though. Hold on, 
Just listen, you can hear her. That's Sayaka's voice. Uh-uh, she's possessed. Uh-uh. Stop him. Let me go. Get a hold of yourself. No. Sayaka. This is awful. Get away! Go! Shoot! I can't. I wasn't prepared to face a friend's death. Is... Is this really happening? Oh, this is just twisted. Haruyuki, I'm sorry about Sayaka, but priority right now is just to get out of here alive. We have to find Ayumi Shinazaki. Poor Sayaka. We should take something of hers back with us to preserve her memory. Your fault. What? You. Isn't this all your fault? You're sorry. You want to preserve her memory? You fucking kidding me? Don't you even care? Do you have any conscience at all? Heavenly Hills Elementary, the Nirvana, all of it. You're the one who gave Sanoki this bullshit intel. And you knew that. And you knew that meant for Sayaka. You, you, they were all about a psychic detective duo together. You knew your actions would have a profound influence on her too. Why couldn't you see that? I'm an intelligence agent. I take pride in what I do and do the best job I can no matter what. I'm not responsible for what people... I'm not responsible for what people do with the intel I give them. You know that. Sorry. Oh, nah, he got that darkening. It's all your fault. What you did is unforgivable. The darkening? What is he? A hellhound? Is this what the darkening does to a person with high spiritual ability? Harayuki's spirit is going berserk! Yo, yo, yo! Yo! The cursed flower I take it from the wall was actually laughing at me.
What am I doing? No, I... I just want it. I just wanted to talk to you one last time. I don't need the money. I don't even care about the book. Please, God, save me. And with that, my conscience faded. I thought I got a wrong end or something, but that's just how it goes? Oh, that's crazy. Oh man, that's the end of the episode guys. If y'all enjoyed, like, subscribe, leave a comment, or read them all, type into the next episode. Um, in this recording, I did the end of chapter one and chapter two. So I kind of forgot to do an outro for chapter one. Ah oh, man, I suck. Right. I'm about to end this recording. And then I'm about to get right back into chapter three, bro. This is crazy.